get to know if I could be The kind of girl that you could be down for Alright y'all, welcome back to the channel. I am back with yet another clothing haul. And if you can't tell by the setup, you already know who I'm with. Do you want to say hi, Mindy? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm with Mindy. You guys love when she edits my videos. Right. So, today, like I said, we're doing a Zara haul. I'm excited. I told you guys in my last one that I'm going to do a part two just because the last one's a bit smaller. And this one's not huge, but we have a good amount of items. Um, and yeah, there's really not much to say in the intro. We're just gonna get right into it. I'm excited. I haven't tried on anything. Um, I really got this package today, so we're gonna see how everything goes. I'm really excited. You guys know I love hauls and I love filming, you know, the vibes and everything. So we're gonna get right into it. If you are interested in anything that I mentioned in the video, all the links will be in the description um, along with Mindy's link um, for her Instagram and information and my social medias as well if you are interested and that's really it yeah that's it for that's that's it for the intro yeah okay so um, we're gonna get right into this if you do enjoy the video don't forget to like comment and if you're new here subscribe to the channel so let's just get right to this video y'all and yeah all right y'all so the first item is a pair of jeans you guys always love when I show jeans and I always get questions in my last Zara haul which I'll link on the screen I had a pair of jeans but I got it so much earlier than I actually filmed the video or so much you guys know like it was a long time before I actually filmed it from when I actually got it and it sold out knowing Zara stuff sells out like crazy and those jeans were so cute but I got them in a size 2 and now I'm a size 4 <laughs> in Zara jeans yes your girl is getting thick your girl is getting thick yeah so um, I wanted to go back and get a size Four, and a lot of you guys actually DM'd me on Insta too and asked me in the comments because I didn't link it But those were sold out so So I wanted to incorporate another pair of jeans that I know you guys would like it's kind of like a similar idea But it just doesn't have rips. Um, I saw these on a youtuber that I watch um, her name is Makai And they look so cute. And I'm always looking for a good pair of jeans and since I didn't get those I really was still on the lookout for another pair similar to those and this is what these look like. You guys already know this. If you're not new here, you know the type of watch that I like. The very like vintage, light blue, mid blue denim pair of jeans. Very straight cut. And that is what these are. So they're size 4. They're the straight Zara jeans. And these were $49.90. I mean, it's pretty average price for denim jeans. It does look low-key like you thrifted them, but they're just so cute. I like the little distressing on them. They look a bit more authentic. And yeah, but they're literally like a straight cut. This is like my favorite style of jeans. I feel like it's the most flattering. Um, so yeah, I haven't, I'm praying, crossing my fingers, that those jeans are not, it was not just that style that I didn't fit into a size two. Um, because it does look a little bit big, but either way, I feel like these will look cute, a little bit more baggy. So I'm not really too concerned about that. And it also has distressing at the bottom as well. So we're going to try this on, and I actually think these are going to be really, really cute. From what I can see, I love the wash. I love the fit of them. I've tried Zara straight jeans before, and I've always liked them. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to like these, and I've liked them when I've seen them on other people. So I'm going to try this on. Um, to start off, I'm going to try it on with this top right here. I'm always looking for really good basics, and everyone that shops on Zara pretty regularly, you guys know that Zara has like those ribbed type of tops. I have them in black and white and they're like the 790 ones and they're just really good basics. And yeah, um, I'm always in store for like some cute basics because especially with summer coming and better weather here, basics are everything. So I got this and I got them size small and it's 990. They have like black and like a blush color, but I always start out with like the white because I love little white rib tanks. I run through them like crazy. Um, and I've also been Getting into like more suit necks, like v-necks, things like that. I've been getting really into them. So I got this. It's really inexpensive. It's like a little basic. It's like a razorback type of situation. Um, and I think this is going to be really, really cute. Um, they didn't have an extra small, so 
We'll, we'll really see. I'm going to try them on with the jeans, and then I'm also going to try them on with, like, little slides. I feel like they'll be cute. It's, like, a really basic summer look. So I'm going to try that on, and I'll be right when back. I look at you, I feel something tell me that you're the kind of guy that I should make a move on. showed you guys this top I've seen in countless Zara hauls um, it's super cute it's very vacay to me but you can also wear it like just summer and wherever you live honestly it's a very summer top I've been really really into the wrap type of vibe on skirts and on tops so this is like it has like a collar top and it has like buttons which are real I checked because fake buttons I just I can't deal um, but the tie is right here, and it is a fake tie, I'm not going to lie. Like, you could tie it, but it's, like, it's not an actual, like, you're tying it. It's just, like, in one spot, but it gives you that same, like, vibe of, like, a wrap top, which I think would be really, really cute on vacay. Um, and also in the summer, good weather with, like, a pair of jeans or even, like, some Bermuda jeans, shorts type of vibe. Um, this is extra small. It was kind of pricey, um, but it's, like, a linen top, um, and a lot of tops like this tend to be a little bit more pricey. Um, so yeah, this is, it was $59.90, which is steep, but we're going to try it out with the denim, and I thought it looked really, really cute on other people, so, but yeah, it's like a cream color, and it is very airy, which would be really nice on vacay, very nice in the summer, it's not too thick or anything, and once again, it has like that soup type of neck, which I've been really into, even though I have nothing to be showing with the soup, but we move, it's all, it's all about how you, how you do it. You know what I mean? Like, if you um, if you move, like, you got something to show, then you got something to show. It's really that simple. Like, it's really that simple. It's all about the confidence, y'all. So, you wear what you want to wear at the end of the day. So, I'm really excited to try this on. It looks really, really expensive and just all the classy brunch summer vibes. So, we're going to try this on with the denim for now and we're going to see how that looks. <laughs> really really big on her it didn't really flatter her and I was like okay I kind of stayed away from it but then I've been seeing it recently everywhere on so many different people and it looks so cute so I'm like okay I'm just gonna give it a try for myself and see if I like it so it is kind of like abstract type of design it's black and white but yeah so this is in an extra small and it's $49.90 which is pretty, it's a little steep, I'm not going to lie to y'all, for a little skirt. But you guys know how Zara prices already are. I feel like they're good quality, so that's kind of why they price their things a bit higher. Um, but yeah, so with the skirt, the skirt kind of has like this angle, um, and it's black and white. has this cute abstract design on it, and then once again, it has like that ruching, wrap type of thing. Yeah, so... It has a little slit at the bottom as well. I think this is going to be really cute. It doesn't look like it's going to fit a bit um, big at all. I feel like it's going to actually fit pretty cute. So I got that. To go with that is the matching top. This is extra small as well. $49.90 as well. And it's literally just once again like a wrap type of thing. This gives me very Jacques Mousse type of vibes. Um, and I've been seeing tops like this literally everywhere that is very that type of vibe I'm inspired. And once again, um, it does have a button if you do want to 
you know, keep it buttoned up a bit. And it also has a pocket here, and it's very boxy, which I really like tops like this in that it kind of wraps and ties right there. Once again, really into that vibe right now. So I feel like this is going to be really cute. And even if it is, even if it is a bit big, I feel like it really won't be that bad, only because of the style of the top. It's already kind of boxy and cropped, so you wouldn't really notice um, if it fits a bit big. So we're going to try this on with the skirt, and we're going to see how this looks. It gives very vacay vibes, very summer vibes, so I'm really, really excited to try this on. I would wear it here in Toronto. Why not? It does get. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Live audience, or? <laughs> That's what I was saying. Um, so I did take a look at the shorts, which I'm going to show you in a second. It is like a, a literal crochet, like you can see through it very much so. So, like, the top is not a big deal to me. Like, I don't mind. Um, a little see-through at the top I can literally easily wear like a little bandeau or like there's different ways to get around that um, but I don't know how I would get around my underwear not showing through the shorts if I were to wear it here see on vacay you can get away with those type of things if you're wearing like a bikini under I feel like this would be really cute on top of a bikini a cute little like wooden bag like that type of vibe um, but here in Toronto I really don't know how I would be wearing this on roads so we're gonna see how it looks um, and yeah, but I'm definitely getting vacay vibes from this, especially because of the material as well. But it's basically like this, the top is just this button-up kind of cardigan vibe. It's very like, it's not oversized, but it is a bit baggy, and it has like these red stripes on it, and it's like this cable knit type of crochet vibe. Um, and this was $39.90 in a size small, and it just buttons up, but on vacay you can easily just take down the buttons and show your cute little bikini. Um, with the shorts and then have your bikini bottoms as well, but um, you could definitely wear it where you live as well. I feel that like there's really nothing wrong with that. If I wore someone, if I live somewhere that I could kind of like, it's giving more of those vibes, and I definitely would do that. But I don't know where I would wear that here. So this is the top part, and then. The bottom part looks like this. The only thing I'm worried about the bot with the bottoms is that um, it's very, very long. So we're going to see how that flatters my body. Um, because I do have a longer torso, so I really don't mind when things are high-waisted and have like a longer type of leg area vibe. Um, because it just makes my legs look longer and more proportionate, which I don't mind at all. So... Yeah, but the only thing that I did already mention to you guys is that the fact that it is like crochet so you can really see through it. Just to keep in mind because I know there's a lot of people that wouldn't really be comfortable with that. I really wouldn't care, but I know there's a lot of people that wouldn't be comfortable with that. Um, so just to keep in mind, this is a size small as well and it is $35.90. So same exact vibe as those and I feel like these are going to fit waist-wise because um, it does look pretty um, small around the waist. So we're going to try this set on and see how that goes. Alright, so the last item is this dress right here. I actually had a similar dress in one of my Zara hauls in September. Remember, I think I posted that. I think it was like a fall transition haul. And I got so many questions on that dress, but it sold out by the time I 
um, posted the video. Um, so I literally got so many questions. You guys wanted that dress so bad. It was really, really cute. I still have that dress. But this is very similar to that. The only thing about this dress is it looks big. It looks like it's not going to fit. Um, but once again, we'll try it on. We'll see how it goes. If it's big, it's big. There's really nothing I can do because there is no extra small. But I really did like how it looked on the model. And she did look a bit slimmer. So I was like, okay, like if she looks fine in it and she is slim, then I feel like me as a slim girl, a petite girl, I'll look fine in it as well. I definitely have nothing with this neckline. And if you've been watching my videos lately, especially my hauls, you'll realize that I've been extremely into um, these midi maxi dresses for summer and the upcoming seasons. Um, so I wanted to try it and it's like the nice rib material that I've really been liking. Like the so the neckline is like a has like this halter tie situation and then it has the sweetheart neckline as well and it looks really really cute on the model so I'm like okay I want to try that as well and see how it looks on me um but yeah it definitely has stretch so if you usually wear like a medium I feel like you should probably size down once I try it on then you'll kind of know from there but then also another thing to note that I just realized is that if you don't want to wear the halter neck part you can easily just tuck this in um, and just wear as like a cute little strapless dress. So that's nice that you have little alternates, you know, alternative ways of wearing a dress. Okay, so we're gonna try this on and see how this fits. type of vibe yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video um, I feel like I got some cute bits and I feel like you guys are gonna enjoy it um, I'm really excited to do like another I'm really excited to do more Zara hauls you guys know these are like my favorite hauls to do I feel like their stuff is just so cute and just so appropriate for the trends and everything went on you can always find some really cute bits I know a lot of people have difficulty navigating the site because with the models and the very it's just a lot going on if you're not used to it but that's why I'm here y'all I always find the gems for you guys and yeah I'm gonna continue to do it okay so if you guys do enjoy these videos enjoy Zara hauls remember to thumbs up this video like it let me know so I know what you guys are feeling and leave a comment down below what was your favorite item in the video um and all of that okay remember to check out my socials my snapchat instagram and my tiktok now will be in my description box and all the links for everything that i showed you guys will be in the description box as well even if it's sold out i'm just gonna leave the um SKU number and yeah also i have mindy's information down below as well and yeah that's really it for today I hope you guys enjoyed the video once again, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, y'all.